Good morning to that day. I hope everybody's doing good. Some strong, intense energies here lately. So, I have a feeling some folks is about to get triggered. I shared my trigger. I shared that I was definitely triggered. Just remember it. It's not the triggering, it's how much growth that you've been through and how we respond. And one thing that I have learned, if something's triggering me, I truly ask my guardian angels, my divine, my ancestors, my guides, I'm like, please show me. Show me what it is that I need to work on within myself so I stop feeling this way. I don't know. Not all the time is it about other people as much as it is our reactions and how we deal with things. I have a bad... I have a really bad habit of overthinking things. Like a lot. So I'm working on releasing self-imposing thoughts. So this morning's message, I was led and guided. I'm going to use My Atlantis Oracle cards. It's just gifted to me from Miss Jessica. And I was led and guided to take it back. Take it back. Take it back to the Atlantis. Take it back. <laughs> Alright. So that's what we're doing. Pausing and reflecting. What do I need to work on? That is within. That's the collective. You know. Masking, angels, ancestors, gods, come in. What do we need to know? Show me. Show me. I don't know, maybe this is like an almost personal reading for the collective. How does that sound? Almost personal for the collective. This is not my energies. This is the collective's energy. And again... Angels, ancestors, gods, protect me, protect my vibe, protect my flow. Nothing formed in spirit or in physical shall harm me as I open myself up to be a channel for the greatest good of the collective. Allow me to be a clear channel this morning and deliver the message most needed. I ask that you would please anoint my words and my thoughts, my intuition. Thank you to my guardian angel for always being there for me. Thank you. And I'm going to use a deck that I don't think I've ever used on this channel before, but it also was a gift. It's the Vice Versa Tarot. It's all of the cards, but there's a front and back. There's dual interpretations. For instance, all right, here's a heart facing backside. All of them are like this. And then I'm going to close with an empowerment message. Okay. So, a pre shuffle. I like to shuffle on the camera for everyone as well. What is the message this morning, Atlantis? Those who have come before our higher selves. 
taking me all the way back to the days of Atlantis. Thank you for your guidance this morning. Thank you. Oh, car down. It's our ancient ones. Number 41. Five. Change. Respecting the elders. I feel like this is respecting our ancient ways. It's respecting the teachings. The golden rule, I heard. The golden rule. Treat others as you would want to be treated. Five by five. Respecting each other. Thank you. Elders, what would you like to say? Seeking wisdom. Ancient ones were the wise ones of Atlantis. They are seen as all-knowing and omniscient, meaning present everywhere, omniscient. The ancient ones were an invaluable part of the Atlantean community. They were loved, respected, their wisdom was priceless, component to the longev longevity of Atlantis itself. I wonder, do you respect your own elders? The oracle message for today is, there's always an opportunity to learn from those elders that are around you. They have real life experience over similar situations that you are going through in your own life. Sometimes we need to put our own limited beliefs aside for a moment just to be open to others' beliefs that may be tested and proven. Just know that one day you will become a wise one as well. If you aren't already and the life experience you will have will be invaluable to others too. Instead of denying the ancient wisdom that is being offered to you, I encourage you to sit with it, embrace it, and know that your ancient ones in your life today and in Atlantis of yesterday are here to help me. The mantra, my elders want the best for me. It and embrace wisdom and knowing the ancient ones are in your life today. The ones of Atlantis of yesterday also are here to help. I do believe this is not about being disrespectful. This is more about opening up yourself and knowing that those that we have called in this morning are with us. I asked for them to come this morning and offer us a message. Listen to the wisdom and the downloads that you're receiving from the ancient ones. Trust what you are receiving is correct information. Your soul really knows. And it also reminds us that we're never alone. We are never alone. We're never alone. We can't see the wind, can we? But we know it exists because we see the effects of it, right? Just because you don't see your ancestors doesn't mean that they're not working because every day you can see the effects of the blessings of the doors, the windows opening, the doors closing also moving you. Trust in the unknown. Have faith. There are higher realms working in all of our behalves. You have to have faith and trust your path, your journey. Just because you can't see the effects yet doesn't mean that things aren't happening. You can hear the rustle of the wind before you see the leaves rustle. Do you get where I'm going? Okay. 
I heard somebody say yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ancient ones and elders, thank you for coming in. Caduceus, double deuces, 22. Remember that ancient medicine is your cell's calling. It didn't say your soul, it said your cell. That which you were created from in the beginning back to the days of Atlantis. Remember Caduceus, right? The ancient medicine is in your cell calling for you. Thank you. Thank you, ancient ones. Much respect and love. Thank you for your guidance this morning. Thank you for letting us know that you're here. You're working in our behalf. We maybe can't see you specifically, but we can see the work that you're doing. And we thank you. We give you honor. We give you praise. We respect you. And we most of all appreciate you to all of those. All right. I just had to take a moment and tell our ancestors thank you for even showing yourself present in the cards as we, in this 3D, call upon you. This is the effects. Tools such as Tarot showing themselves to us, okay? That's what they're saying. I'm speaking, but they're speaking through me. I'm just to the mere channel. Thank you. I swear, stuff, Tarot. Please elaborate from our elders, the ancient ones who respect you. Thank you so much. Elaborate a little bit with the message. This is the deck I'm using. What is the message that we need this morning collective? What is the message? Let me be a clear channel in my words. Thank you. I love you guys. Y'all make me work for it. Y'all always throw my cards down. They say we just letting you know it's so <laughs> Alright. Wow. <laughs> Y'all got mad jokes. Look, remember I said there's two sides to these cards and I was talking about like the elders and those working our higher selves. All of our combined energy of those that are past working together behind the scenes look at the dark side of the ace of wands came out which is not seen look behind the scene the fives there's that tower the burning bush the spark behind the scenes look Revelations are coming. But at the same instance, I heard burning bridges behind you. They're clearing the path from the past behind you so you can move forward with this brand new beginning and spark. There's a spark. They're clearing the path, clearing the way. Look at the strip in this hand. I believe that. I believe that muscle can protect me. I'm the little bitty girl. Don't let it confuse you. I'm a fireball, though. Just like that. <laughs>
thank you for that ace, ace of wands energy. They're working. Look at here. I want to see something really quickly. The power pushing this reading, obviously, well, some may not know, High Priestess. And I was led because the energy behind this reading is inner dilemma to be resolved by leaving logic aside. It's a duel of perception and sentiment. It's a period of steady and preparation. A profound inner path. Protection from forces of darkness, desires, and fears that we have removed from the watchful awareness. That is exactly what I'm talking about. It is protection. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, hold on a second. Uh uh, I'm going to speak this message. Whatever doesn't want this message to come out, it's coming out. Remember, I said that there are mighty ancestors and forces that we don't see in the realms burning bridges, burning things to the ground, revelations for ourselves, clearing the path. Interestingly enough, protection from the forces of darkness, desires, and fears that we have removed from the watchful awareness. Yesterday, I talked about us dealing with residual energies. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at that. Seven of Wands. Back is turned. Going within. We don't have to. No. Strength. Strength. Have strength. I, I, <laughs> these are all majors. Look, the sun is coming. There's illumination strength. Illumination. Looky here. Illumination of what? Devil energy. Fears. Things that have kept you trapped. Things that have kept you bound. The angels are here to protect you. Look, you can't see them. They're standing in front of you with illumination and helping you overcome everything that has kept you bound facing your deepest darkest fears the angels are here they're seeing you through it i don't know who this message is for this morning i have a couple of ideas but i'm not gonna look i just want you guys to know i want you to know the cards are powerful this morning we are protected from forces of darkness all of your old deceptive desires, all of your fears, guess what? Not today. The great and mighty elders have stepped up strong in this reading, and I want you to know that they got your back. They've got your back. Turn around and look what's coming. Here's your ten. Your Ten of Pentacles, babies. Don't stop now. Don't freaking stop and give in. High Priestess. High Priest. Listen here. The Great Elders have got your back. Take that Ace of Wands and that spark and know you've got this. Knowing's half the battle. So let me give you your spark. Let me give you your ace of wands. Knowing is half the battle. Well, half of it's already won. Okay? It's time to flip that side over. Here you go. Here's your light, your sunshine. Here's the great falcon spirit coming in for you. Here you go. Here's your almost personal. <laughs> That's what I have to name it this now. I'm going to close with an empowerment card, okay? Thank you, great wise ones, for coming in strong this morning, delivering this message. 
there's a few in the collective, if not all 300 of my followers that absolutely need this message today. Believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. Your angels are here. Look at here. See it? Believe it. Receive it. Dream it. Believe it. Receive it. Believe it. Your ancestors are strong. You are mighty. Have faith. And all is well. This is a different vibe for me, for y'all. The voice that I have right now is my ultimate serious voice. This message needs to be spoken today, and I absolutely know that was not me. There's a force that did not want me to speak this message to y'all this morning. And you know what? That's exactly when I'm going to speak my message and put it on blast. You know what? You have no fear. You have no power over us. You are not stronger than we are. Oof. We take power back. We take dominion back. And we put it in the hands of our higher power. Our angels, our ancestors, and our gods. You have no power over me. You Repeat it, collective. You have no power. I'm taking the power back. Take the power back. <laughs> Take it back. Take your power back. Grab that Ace of Wands and be unstoppable. Okay? Okay. I love y'all. I'm not mad. This is my serious voice. It's serious. This is serious. Get up and fight. Stand strong. Your elders, your ancestors, all of those back, 2233, back to Atlantis, have got your motherfucking back, shot. All right. 2244 on the clock. I love you guys. I got to get it. All right. All right. Stay up. I mean it. Stay up.